Hello everyone, welcome to DevWave Diaries. If you're passionate about tech and eager to learn, you've come to the right place. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a beautiful 3D card animation, which responds to mouse hover. To access all the images used in this video, check the video description. I've provided a GitHub link where you can download all the images and the code. First, we'll create a div with the class name container. Inside this container, add another div with the class name card, and within that, create one more div with the class name bird. This is the only HTML code we need for this animation. Now, let's move on to the CSS. We'll start by creating a CSS boilerplate. This includes setting the margin and padding to zero. Then, we'll set the box sizing property to border box, which ensures that padding and borders are included in the element's total width and height. Next, let's style the body element. We'll set the width to 100% and the height to 100 viewport height units, which ensures it takes up the full screen. Then, we'll apply Flexbox with display, Flex. Using Justify Content, Center and Align Items, Center, we'll center the content both horizontally and vertically. Finally, set the background color to a shade of purple using hash 6464D0. After that, let's style the container div. We'll set its width to 20REM and the height to 25REM, giving it a defined size. Next, we'll add a 2 pixel solid black border to outline the container. Finally, set its position to relative, which allows us to position child elements inside it more easily relative to this container. Now, open the browser, and you'll see the purple background with the container div outlined in the center of the screen. Next add a cursor pointer to the container d. Now, let's style the card element. Set its width and height to 100%, so it fills the container. Then, set its position to absolute for precise positioning. Next, add a background image using the background image property, followed by the image URL. Set background size to cover so the image scales properly. Add a smooth transition of 1 second using transition 1 second, and round the corners with a 10 pixel border radius. Finally, apply a box shadow with the value 0 10 pixel 10 pixel for a subtle depth effect. Now, open the browser, and you'll see the card with a beautiful sky image as the background. Next, let's remove the border from the container div. Now, let's add a hover effect to the card div when the container div is hovered. We'll use the selector.container hover.card. In this rule, set the transform property to perspective, 20 pixel, rotate x, 2 degrees, and translate y, dash 50 px. This will create a subtle 3D effect, making the card appear to lift slightly when the container is hovered over. Now, open the browser and hover over the card. You'll see the card rotate 2 degrees on the x-axis and move slightly upward, creating a nice 3D effect. Next, let's style the bird div. Set its width to 20 REM and height to 20 REM, and position it absolutely within the container. Then, add a background image using the background image property followed by the image URL. Set background size to 100% and background repeat to no repeat to ensure the image fills the div without repeating. Finally, add a smooth transition effect of 1 second. Now, open the browser, and you'll see the bird image positioned in the center of the card. Next, let's add a style to the bird div when the container is hovered. Use .container hover .bird selector. Then set the transform property to translate y, minus 200 pixel, and translate x, minus 10 pixel. This will make the bird move upward and slightly to the left when the container is hovered over. Now, open the browser and hover over the card. You'll see the bird move upward and slightly to the left. Now, let's add an animation to the bird div. Set the animation property to animate, with a duration of 0.2 seconds, a linear timing function, and make it infinite. Next, let's create the animate animation using keyframes. Set up the keyframes with a keyframes animate, and then define the from keyframe. Inside it, add the background image property and paste the previous bird image URL. After that, add the to keyframe. Inside this keyframe, Paste the previous background image style, but change the image URL to the second bird image. This animation helps to change the bird's background image. 
We have two different bird images that swap continuously every 0.2 seconds, creating the effect of a bird flying. Now, open the browser, and you'll see the bird image moving, giving the illusion that it's flying. These are the two bird images that we animated. You can find these images at the GitHub link in the description of this video. Next, let's remove the background image from the bird div. Now, add animation play state, paused, important, to the bird div. This will pause the animation until we decide to play it again. Open the browser, and you'll see that the animation is paused. Next, in the bird hover effect, add animation play state, running, important. This will resume the animation when the bird is hovered over. Now, open the browser and hover over the card. You'll see the bird move upward first, and then the bird animation will start, creating a beautiful 3D bird animation effect. If you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to stay updated with all our latest content. Your support helps us create more exciting and valuable videos. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode of DevWave Diaries.